Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, and today I'm speaking the truth. Archie Luxury speaks the truth about a Seiko Quartz wristwatch he recently purchased. And I wanted to make this video. A lot of people have said, what's happened, Archie? You sold out. What happened? Well, the answer is simple. A good friend of mine, he, um, he wanted a simple wristwatch which he could wear to tell the time and I, 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 I originally sold him an Oris and I don't think he was moving enough he had some issues which when I tested the watch there was no problem so I said hey you need quartz you need quartz you need a three-year warranty that's what you need because he's he's, 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 he's he's had a few medical problems and it's a perfect fit for purpose watch. What do I think of the Seiko myself? Archie Luxury, what do I think of it? Well, in all honesty, it's not a bad watch, but um, <clears throat> I wouldn't be caught fucking dead wearing it. <laughs> wouldn't be caught fucking dead wearing it. I mean, it's okay. It tells the time, it works, it's fit for purpose. But fuck fuckers there's a lot more to life than just telling the time I don't think it's got much style it hasn't got the attention to detail I like to go through life with an expensive thing on my wrist I mean it gives you some character it says what you're about your morals and um, maybe not your morals but it says it says what you're about what you stand for it says that you are tells people how superficial you are and uh, I gotta tell you a quality wristwatch is just a joy to have I mean I'll be honest with you the Seiko it's the equivalent of driving a Corolla or a Honda Civic for that matter it's fucking boring it's as boring as batshit it's yes it gets you from A to B it does the job yes it's cheap yes the cost per wear is negligible yes it's bank money well spent but on the excitement factor on the enjoyment scale it rates pretty fucking low it rates like eating lettuce <clears throat> it rates fucking poorly fuckers it rates poorly because it's not exciting it's not fantastic the attention to detail isn't there I mean when you strap on a quality watch <laughs> it makes you feel proud you feel you feel a sense of pride there ain't no pride when you've bought the cheapest well an affordable watch and I think this is the whole thing I'm not saying the Seiko is bad because it's not it's a great piece reliable accurate and it's also reasonably stylish but fuckers but fuckers indeed <clears throat> is the meaning of life to buy the absolute cheapest Sp be a stingy mean asshole all your life is that the meaning of life you gotta have some enjoyment what makes you happy what makes you smile it's hoarding luxury goods, fuckers. Hoarding possessions. And I gotta say, as I'm making this video, I'm wearing my Rolex Datejust. Beautiful, nice, minty piece. Beautiful white computer dial. Arabics. I'm happy. I'm really fucking happy with it. It puts a smile on my dial. And that's, that's what's important a smile on my dial and wristwatches themselves what do you say they're supposed to make you happy you buy things you buy possessions to make yourself feel well and you know it, it's one of these things here what the fuck WTF what the fuck do you want from the cheapest shit in life you want something that you love a bit of individualism it's like an Aston Martin. How does an Aston Martin compare to a Corolla? Well, on an economic sense, the Aston Martin is fucking expensive. It's fucking over-engineered, overpriced. 
over fucking everything, but it's just a, a cool thing to have. And uh, whilst the Corolla isn't a bad ride, it's not exciting. It's not exciting or, you know, it's just boring. And this is the whole thing. What I'm trying to say is, fuckers, your quality of life, you got to have some enjoyment. We're here for a short time. We're here for a short time. you got to have some fun. Do you want to be a boring fucker? Or do you want to have some excitement? And uh, that's that's what it gets down to. So whilst I, I don't hate the Seiko, I personally could never wear the fucking thing myself. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, coming clean on my true intentions. Tell me what you nasty, miserable, vinyl fuckers <clears throat> think of that. Nice one, Archie. And I thought you were worried about your ratings. Those mid-tier boys are stealing your viewers, Archie. Stealing your viewers, big boy.